Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak on the House Bill 4169, which deals with the Homes Youthful Training Act, more commonly referred to as HIDA. As you know, this is part of a larger three-bill package, which aims at reforming the way youthful offenders are treated within our criminal justice system. <laughs> Thank you. Currently under HIDA, if the underlying charge is an offense punishable by imprisonment for a maximum term of more than a year, one of the options a court has is to send the trainee to prison for up to three years. Uh, I might remind you this is part of a three bill package uh, that um, Council of State Governments recommended after extensively studying our uh, uh, criminal justice system and it's part of a sentencing reform package that um, Mr. Havman, former Representative Havman, uh, was a leader uh, about. And this is his, the original was his bill. My bill would reduce the maximum time to two years from three. Uh, House Bill 4169 would allow Haida prisoners to be placed on probation, this is a new thing, for up to a year after serving their sentence. And it's important because research indicator, indicates that offenders who at least spend some time under community supervision uh, do much better uh, than those who simply max out and are released into the community without any supervision or help. Um, it would also exclude certain low-end non-assaultive crimes from the Haida prison option. and remove the segregation requirement for Haida prisoners who are between the ages of 21 and 24 years old. This is the new age bracket that's been added to Haida under Rep. Santana's bill. As you can see, collectively these three bills aim at ensuring that youthful offenders who make a mistake in their youth are not punished for the rest of their lives. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me uh, time to speak on House Bill 4169, and I urge my colleagues to support this legislation. Thank you.